Hey, it's Jenny from Tide Iguana. Um, I will be showing you guys how to feed your crickets. I will also be showing you how to dust it and how to determine what size uh, to feed your animals. So let's get started. This right here, I have large crickets. First, I'm gonna show you how to dust and like what's appropriate and like all that stuff. So whenever you get your crickets, usually they come in like a little plastic bag like this, or say you get them in a box and you keep them in your little critter keeper, um, cricket keeper, critter keeper, one of the two. Get yourself a little plastic bag. To me, this is the easiest for me. Uh, even if you don't have like one of these bags, get yourself like a Ziploc, just something thin and flimsy as long as it can hold crickets and a little bit of dust. So you don't want to over dust your crickets. You want to make sure you have enough just to coat them to kind of like change their color, but not enough to where there's like excess calcium on the bottom of your bag. That's what you do not want. Cause then that's just a waste. As you can see, Jack's already ready to go. So I just start a little bit at a time. You know, I didn't do too much. I don't know if you can kind of see at the bottom there. It's not very much, but I also don't have that many crickets, so give them a nice good shake. And actually, that's perfect right there. Just mix them up a little bit, make sure that they're nice even and evenly coated. Let's see, right there, that's a perfectly coated cricket. How I determine what size crickets to feed my animal is, come here buddy boy, really good way to measure uh, what size to start with with your animal is if you go right in between the eyes so from here to here that's like basically where you should start whenever it comes to uh, feeding size so he can get large crickets all right so this right here is one of our large crickets and as you can see oh, sorry buddy it's about the size of it in be the width between his eyes so when it comes to feeding different sized prey items, you want to make sure that obviously in between the eyes, you can go a little bit larger. You can definitely go smaller. Uh, if you go smaller, you're probably gonna have to feed a little bit more. If you go larger, you're definitely gonna have to feed a lot less. But whenever you feed a larger item, you make sure that it's not so big that they can't chew on it, like they can't swallow it. So what you want to do is just make sure that whenever you go to feed it to them, monitor them make sure that they're be able will be able to chew it up eat it swallow it without choking yeah. <laughs> so always monitor whenever you're doing different food sizes especially large food sizes all right and i just threw at least for right now just a couple crickets whenever you're initially feeding your animal first you want to make sure there's no excess crickets in your tank uh, so you want to make sure that you're checking say underneath your hide oh look at that he's already got a few crickets so Pretty much, we would still feed them, but what we do is actually take these crickets out and then we put them in a bag or wherever we store our crickets, you know, shake them with a little bit of calcium or your vitamins, do that like once a week. Uh, and we reuse them. So when it comes to a good like basis guideline to follow on how much to feed your animal, we say whatever they can eat within that, within a 10 minute frame is, that's all they need for the day. Uh, so when it comes to feeding your, uh, say, your bearded dragon or your Rankin's dragon, you know, as they're eating it, you can keep giving them more and more and more. And once they stop eating within that 10 minutes, you can go ahead and just stop feeding them uh, or, you know, feed up until that 10 minutes. Even if they're still eating, just go ahead and just stop because you don't want an overweight dragon. <laughs> but there are some exceptions like itty bitty babies. You can give them a little bit more, like a little bit excess food, but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, and then older dragons or older animals, uh, you want to do a little bit less. Their metabolism isn't as fast, so you want to make sure you really only need to feed them protein or crickets uh, max three times a week. All right, so when it comes to, say, quote unquote, overfeeding your baby dragons so if they're like within like a month or two yeah actually probably more up to like six months old um, it's very important that they are fed a lot because they have a lot of growing to do you notice you know how fast they grow 
but that also means there might be excess crickets in your tank. And when that happens, for omnivores such as your dragons, you want to make sure you always have fresh fruit or greens, essentially. You want to always make sure that there's fresh vegetables for the crickets to chew on, because you don't want them to chew on your dragon. <laughs> so make sure that you always have, that the crickets have access to that. Obviously your dragon can always have access to their greens as much as they want, but if there's too many, like too many crickets, I would recommend actually pulling up the majority of them out and leaving maybe no more than a dozen crickets in the tank at a time, depending on what animal. So like, say like, I would say, okay, like a leopard gecko. So like, I was thinking like a pixie frog. So you don't want to leave more than like three max. Yes. Yeah. You know, it, they don't have access to greens, so they can't really, you know, chew on anything but the lizard. So personally, I wouldn't leave any crickets in there. Just leave the mealworms, they'll be fine. Um, but I wouldn't leave more than like max three crickets, like just to hang around. If in doubt, take them out. <laughs> now that we've established on how much to feed them, when to feed them, let's go ahead and give Jack a couple crickets and see how excited he is for them. All right, so I'm gonna show you medium crickets. So this is an animal that's pretty much uh, they're trying to get it on right now. All right, <laughs> what's really cool about these guys is that I will show you, even though they're full grown, I used to like looking around like what's going on, that these guys will be eating pretty much medium crickets. So let me show you. So here's your medium cricket right here. And as you can see, or if you can if you can see it's no bigger than right between the eyes maybe slightly bigger but that's just big, big enough you know that's yeah. perfect so let's go ahead and just whoop drop one in there uh, uh, <laughs> good job bubby it's all right uh. now these guys will start eating largest when they are bigger but for right now they're definitely eating smalls and i'll show you what are these, the whites? Yep, these are the Australian white tree frogs. And you can see this guy in the corner here. So here's one of our small crickets. All right, and then as you can see, the cricket itself is about the size between his eyes. So that's the perfect size. What happens if I drop on, on him? Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's how to properly dust size and how much and how often to feed your animals. <laughs>